Good morning, everyone, and it is Thursday. coming at you. Today, I give you my Mazda Speed 3 2012. Uh, I bought this car back in uh, May, no August, I lied, August uh, 2012. I had just got into an accident with my Protege 5 at the time. I love that thing, by the way. Wagons for life. So, I bought this car because it just spoke to me. I don't know. Maybe Mazda for life. I'm not really sure. Maybe. But yeah, uh, let's get to the nitty gritty and see what runs under my hood. Yeah. So I have a vented oil cap, which relieves crank pressure. Since I am running a big turbo, I thought it was really impressive because I don't want uh, my dipstick to fucking go into my engine, like through here, spill all my oil. Oil is expensive. Next, I have a vented oil catch can. You can't see it, but it's there, trust me. I also have uh, the One Step Colder NGK. 6510 spark plugs capped at about 2.5 each, roughly there. I had to kind of guesstimate it. Uh, as well as uh, the uh, Cork Sport high pressure, uh, high pressure fuel pump. Can't really see it. It's, it's in there, but trust me, it's in there. I wouldn't be running this, this setup without it. Definitely. <laughs> uh, as well as I have a JVR uh, electronic boost controller, three port. Uh, is connected to my 3.5 JBR intake. Yeah. <laughs> and what is that connected to? Ed? Which is connected to my BNRS4 turbo. Look at that. Ooh, that big boy back there. Kind of have it looking stockish. No one really thinks I have a big turbo. I want to keep it that way. Looking good. With, that's connected to my Go, fa go Fast Bits Response Mach 2. It's about at 90 10. Is it a blow off or are you sort of uh, it's, uh, it's both, it's, it's adjustable actually. So right now it's at 90-10 like I was saying. So it's 90% into recirc and then 10% out. So you could just turn that knob and adjust right it. Right the future is here. There we go. That's also connected to my Guardian Angel by Stratified. That, what is that? That helps me, that helps protect me from overboost, especially we have winters here, our winters are harsh and it gets colder, so our turbos can get more air into them. So this lets make sure it doesn't go past about 25. I also- so what turbo are you running? I right, don't think uh, you mentioned it yet. I have the BNRS4 turbo, uh, first gen. Or right now they have the second gen out, but I already bought that, so maybe- Nice front pump, I think. Uh, the front mount, which is connected to my CX Racing black, wrinkle uh, black, wrinkle black front mount piping. Yeah, like that look. And I then, do. as you guys can see, nice big old core right behind there. Which it is a Meshimoto J Line spec. It's black. It really just wanted a stealthier look. I did not like the gold. So you can't see this, but I do have the trilogy mounts. And if you don't know what a trilogy mount or the trilogy mount is, that is passenger, transmission, and rear engine. Uh, I have the JBRs in the front, so passenger and tranny are JBR 80 Duro. The rear engine mount is Cobb 80 Duro. Uh, yeah. So my turbo is connected to a 3 inch downpipe catalyst from Ultimate Racing. You can't see it because the shield's in the way. That's connected to my 3 inch test pipe catalyst as well from Ultimate Racing. Shout out to Ultimate Racing, Canadian. Much love. Gotta support the Canadian. That's Before connected to my CPE Triton 3 inch exhaust work. You guys could see those tips right there. They are black because I sh uh, Catalyst just can't have clean tips. That's just how it is. They stick out a fair bit, but it gives it a little bit more of an aggressive look, which I like. The only reason they stick out a bit is because I actually don't have upgraded uh, exhaust mounts. 
Oh, you mean the hangers? Yeah, the hangers, that's it. I don't have those. I never really bothered with them. I didn't really give a fuck. To be quite honest, I thought they were kind of a waste of money. Track bell, bro. I do, okay. actually, that's the thing. I. That's probably something I'm looking into. Probably picking up in the next couple weeks. Maybe tomorrow. I'm not sure. Alright, so what do you have done for suspension, though? Suspension, I have standard uh, suspension. It's called sonic tuning, I believe, now. Uh, it's extreme lows, unfortunate. But these are very sturdy, better than the ones I was running before. I do love the color. I am a very, I am a man of flamboyant taste. So the car is lowered on standard suspension. And they are really low, as you can see. Can't really fit my hand in there. But I kind of like that. But I have to raise up the rears because I am rubbing like crazy. It's, look at this shit. Tire. Fucking, this tire. I'm running um, 17 by 8, uh, 38 offsets on the, on the front. Seven, and 17 by 9s with 30 offset in the rears. They have 24, uh, 245, 40, 17s all around. Uh, they are GF Goodridge uh, Sport Comp 2s. You mean BF Goodridge? BF Goodridge. What did I say? GF. GF Goodridge, my bad. <laughs> Got a nice concave going in yeah, the back. Yeah, the, the concave's more in the back than in the front. Um, I haven't really given any big brake upgrades, but they are coming. That is my future plan. So right now you're just on some drilled rotors? Drilled rotors and just like upgraded uh, brake pads. I haven't changed my brake pads in fucking two years. I have to. They are crying now. Big turbo track life. Big turbo track life. Aesthetic wise, I have the, the garage very grill. I had to modify it a bit because I am running the stock crash bar. I really just wanted like a stealthy kind of look. I had to shave it down, but we got that in there, no problems. I also have a password JBM, JBM, password JDM quick release tabs because my bumper is fucked and I don't know how many times I've fucking taken it off. So this just makes it much easier. I also have an auto EXE strut tower bar. Solid as fuck. Needs a new painting though because it looks like shit. But that's how I picked it up. Any future plans? Future plans, let's see. I really want to go uh, wide body with some clenched fender flares. Maybe like 2.5s all around. Just so I can have like a nicer fit. So I don't rub like crazy in the rears especially. Right now she looks like she's sitting pretty. You got she is sitting pretty, but got unfortunately. Got a splitter kit on her? Yeah, so my aerodynamics right now. Uh, I have a splitter kit from Z Splitters. Shout out to Z Splitters. They are the hookup. They have to do great work. They, and they're just really fast with their responses as well. So I have the front the, the splitter and the side splitters. Hopefully I can get them to make me a rear diffuser because well, I kind of race track car without a rear diffuser, right? Am I right guys? Leave a comment down below. Tell me if I'm wrong or I'm just full of it. So my sticker bomb, my theme in the car really reflects who I am. I just like I'm a big ass nerd, really. And so this year I'm kind of going with a different approach. And I'm going two-tone kind of, not two-tone. Um, kind of like monochrome, I think that's the word. Trying to, trying, to, trying to spice it up for this year, make it look more aggressive in a way. As aggressive as I possibly can with some like cartoony sticker bombs. <laughs> but like that's me, literally. I'm a goofball. But yeah, I hope you like this video. Comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys think of my car, my build, what I need, what I should do. I have some rear, uh, I have some suspension mods I really want to get in here, like uh, rear sway bar, front sway bar, uh, uh, other, other, other things. I don't know, if you guys. Let me know. I'm kind of new to this whole thing. I am a noob, really. I am. I just picked. I just got into this whole fucking car. This is my first turbo car, by, by like, just so you know. Yeah. And I'm loving it. This is most of all, nearly everything you've done on this car. Oh, fun. I, I pretty much did everything myself. The only thing I haven't done was the exhaust work because I had, I wasn't really like, didn't know how to do it at the time. But yeah, this shows goes to show you can do anything if you really try. Inspirational message of the day.